Hello. Hello. Well, as you can tell, we are not 100% done with our wooden deck yet. But we have great news. In the past few days, we've been having a lot of good progress on it. So, let's get started. I don't know if you guys know, but this video is part of a series that we are doing on our shipping container wooden deck and roof. So if you didn't watch the first videos, we suggest you to go back and watch from the beginning. That is since we did the supports. supports the yeah, we just did some metal supports that we welded on the shipping container so we can, could support the roof and the deck. On this specific video, what are you going to talk about? The wooden deck, the final piece of the wooden deck that we are building. Yeah, actually, we're going to talk about the last layer of decking that we call, I think you call decking. decking. Yeah. We thought we were going to show you guys the decking 100% done today, <laughs> but, but that's not as, reality. Uh, yeah, as usual, it takes us more than we thought. Yeah, it always takes like two, three times what you plan because we, we are learning along the way. So, I mean, you guys can see the progress at least. Yeah, we had a good progress. And so we're going to show you guys a video clip of the progress we had this week. And after the video clip, we're going to give you guys some tips about what we learned on the way. Yeah. So, yeah. video clip now. The thing is, the wood is not long enough for the whole shipping container roof. So we need to have, at some point, we need to have like joists, uh, you know, two different pieces of decking on the same joist. So we need to be on the middle of the joist, the connection. So now I'm just measuring where is the connection so I can cut off the excess and we can have uh, like a split decking on this joist. So I'm just measuring. So we're gonna cut and test and see if it works. And then we need to cut another 20 of those mm. and another, I don't know how many of them, different <laughs> size. So let's cut this one then. Yeah, let's go. The first one of many Yep, we know it's not the best position for the wood because it's gonna bend if we leave like this, but that's just temporarily. You're gonna paint the other one inside, so we need space. For now, we're just gonna leave like this for a few hours and then we stack them together in a better way. Let's keep working. So what we need to fix is because we left this gap here and we thought the water would fall from here to here 
in, in the direction of the roof but the water drip to here and go, goes around and goes underneath here so you did this small metal sheet and then I'm gonna screw here so now the water comes here and goes to the roof so let's do it yeah you just need to screw in place now I'll get these screws let's put it in place Now, we have one last step before we can assemble this part of the deck. We have everything painted, we just need to dry the wood because it rained yesterday. And, and, then, the other one. Yeah, and then we need to organize the order, it's gonna go up because there are so many different kinds of wood, so sizes. So now we're gonna organize, you know, the order and then we just bring up and it's time to start putting everything together. Let's do it. So this was the last screw of the first last line. Screw of the first line. That's I mean we still have I don't know 40 maybe 81 to go. <laughs> what do you get there eventually? Let's test if it holds my weight now. Yep. I guess Working? we have a wooden. Yep. <laughs> That's the beginning of a wooden deck. How is the installation going? I mean, it's good, but it's slow. I mean, I, we thought we would do the whole side, this shipping, this side of the house, in one day, and it's been the second day, and we are not even halfway. Thirty percent? Yeah, we're like thirty percent. But you know, we keep doing it, and one day we eventually get there. But at least it looks pretty cool. We're yeah. excited. It's pretty cool. I mean, we can you know walk around already.
about the tips. I think the first tip is about before the, the, the decking itself is the joists. Yeah, the thing is, at least where we live, the decking, uh, the wood, how, the wood the yeah, the lumber. I don't know how you call it, but the, the decking, like the piece of wood. This. They, yeah. <laughs> this. This one we cut it. But they sell in three meters length. That means that when the tip is when you position your joist, you need to think in a way so you don't waste that much wood because they won't sell you like 2.7 meters they're gonna sell you three meters yeah. so that means that if you know the joist because we have like six and a half meter long beam and all the joists that means that I'm, no, I'm gonna need to connect more than one three meter piece of wood that means we need to have like a connection and this connection need to be on the top of a joist and if there is no joist, I need to go to the joist right before and then I waste like 50 centimeters of wood or 40 centimeters of wood. So that means do the math and try to use, you know, as wide, wise, wise. Yeah, as wise as you can, <laughs> the position of each joist. So, you know, you, you don't waste that much wood. And that's really good. And the, th the second thing I think is because we did like uh, the, the first and the second... Oof. That was a guava. <laughs> the trees just. So this is the first line. This is the second one, and we didn't put the straight away. We did like. Yeah, the, the, that's the thing. When you do like, uh, you know, each layer, we don't do the connection always in the same place. Otherwise, it's gonna be a weak spot. So we do like, you know, one it connects here, the other one connects there. So it's like, you know, I don't know how you call it, like. It's Crossing. not. Yeah, it's like. It, it's not in the same, you know, line we just divide the connections in different place so we don't get like weak spots. Well, tip number two is about the painting. Painting. There are two options for treating the wood. Paint after assembling the deck and some people paint before assembling the deck. We decided, we decided to, paint, to before. paint before. I mean, uh, if we paint after some spots we won't be able to paint and that's like... like the back and the, the side. Yeah, like underneath and some, you know... Yeah, the connections. The connections and we, we decide to paint before so we get like a better result. We, we hope to get a better result. But... but <laughs> we decided to paint just two layers before and one after the decking is done. Yeah, the factory of the stains say we need to get three coats. But instead of doing three coats before we're gonna we did two before and one after assembly why that because we could scratch our we, we have some holes now to to hold the wood so we want to fill this hole yeah the thing is we don't want to leave the screw showing off yeah. we want to you know get a deeper screw and close the hole of the screw so the reason one of the reasons why we paint the third layer later is because we want to you know fill up this gap and then paint on the top so it's everything painted and we want to you know fix scratches and stuff that we do along the way how about how you fix the hose how we fill up the hose it was a mess we tried to fix like with always. polyurethane but it didn't work it was a mess we didn't know how to use this i, I mean it could work sorry i'm i have a cold today <laughs> uh i mean i think polyurethane would work but we would need to sand on the top and as we treat the wood already yeah. we don't want to you know we scratch we, yeah we, we don't want to scratch the wood after so we decide to use just white glue mixed with powder it's like a little dough that we <laughs> make it's a mix of glue and wooden powder and then we fix you know we uh, fill finger. up the hose <laughs> with finger, finger. <laughs> and then we're gonna give the third layer of stain yeah and i don't know looks good for we we're really liking the results yeah. even though we didn't finish the deck already like we have a place to sit and see the view it's pretty yeah, cool it's really good and we are not like stepping on the eggs <laughs> yeah we always say we are stepping on eggs just you know joists by joists and sometimes we fall on the top and then you know it's not good not, not good and the third tip is about how you that's the fourth the fourth tip is about how you place the wood on the Oh yeah, the thing is, the wood we are using is pine, and pine depend on which country you are. I think because of the weather, somewhere it's cold. I think the pine is like gets uh, they don't grow as fast as in Brazil, because here it's really humid and hot, so the pine grows really fast and it's really weak. The wood, so it's really light and bends a lot. That means all the wood we bought, they're not straight 100%. It's impossible. They're never. 
So the way we do is we screw one side and then we keep pushing and pulling to place and screwing and pushing and pulling to place. And what helps a lot is a screw driver. Is a screw drive? Yeah. I think so. The yellow one I'm using now in the footage. <laughs> you see? So when you have like no gap, you put it in between and you push to place and then you, you know, you just... And we have a regular... How do you call it? distance in between pieces yeah. of decking so that's our measurement is the screwdriver we put in the middle and then we know the distance and then we keep doing yeah. and you know yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed there's one thing I don't know if you guys notice but we didn't put the first layer of decking uh, yeah. and the reason for that is because we have we're gonna have in the future a finishing in front of all the joists and when we do that we need to seal the, the roof yeah. and the the finishing so we need to have like a tape here and we, we need, need space to, to work. Space, so yeah. after we do that, we're gonna put the first layer, and then we're gonna we're gonna finish. Yeah. But for now. for now, that's how far we got. And I we mean, are really glad. We're really result. glad. Yeah. I mean, looks really cool already. Yeah. But we still need. Uh, we still have a lot to work to do today because now it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, and we still have like I don't know, like five hours of work, so we can you know get as far as we can, so we can edit this video that you guys just saw. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> what you just saw, we didn't record yet, but you know. Well, <laughs> I hope you guys understand that we are slow and that we do things the way we do. The thing is, this is like a big lab laboratory for us. We're just learning a lot and that's the reason why you're doing that. And we love to shoot videos and show you guys what's going on. So, I mean, if you want to keep doing the videos, that's the speed we can get. We, yeah, we won't, you know, we can we get... We actually spent two, at least two days yeah, editing, so... A few videos we added like three, four days, so that means we just, it's just the way it is. So we hope you stick with us and you're pa patient, yeah, patience enough to go all the way to the end. I mean, maybe to the end of 2018 when we finish the house, that's our goal, 2018, that's, we're going to finish by December, hopefully. So, I mean, I guess. See you guys next, next week. week. The thing is. Every week the chicken makes noise when we leave, but today the, you know, the chicken is just not, not happy, so you, she's going to be the chicken today, you pretend you're the chicken? No.